So during university, I was rejected by pretty much all applications that I sent out there, both for like student jobs, internships, pretty much whatever. It was around my bachelor degree, three years into universities. I was doing my masters after that, already planned for that, but I wanted to get some real world experience out in companies and so on. So it's time to look for companies in my local area where I could maybe work four, six, eight hours a week besides my school while I was studying and all that, because back then I was just spending all my time studying, trying to get the best grades and all that. But all of them was pretty much just rejected most of them like 80 percent i didn't really get a response back like not even a response back that they're not looking for someone or whatever and i was pretty much willing to work for free like internships summer jobs or basically just as a student worker so i was kind of like in an off position i had some jobs on the sideline it was not really like relevant to computer vision ai or the things that i really liked it was just more like working at mcdonald's or whatever just basically just for money so I could have some fun with friends and family on the sideline and also just buy stuff for myself while studying. So I basically just started like, so I basically just started to think about like other ideas. I couldn't get a job, like every single one of them was rejected. I couldn't wrap my head around it. And again, all of them was actually just rejected, never got into any interviews, job offers, or basically just being able to help them out. So I started to think about what can I do on the sideline besides my studies and all that to help me get more experience, also grow and be able to get more opportunities in the future. While I was out for a walk, one day I actually just got this very nice idea. Let me create a YouTube channel where I go over pretty much just the lectures that we had to make summaries. So instead of writing notes in the lectures, I just went home after, did a summary in the videos, the projects we made and so on. I just put them online on YouTube doing the coding and all that. And then I started to get some views, started to get some engagement, people liked the videos and so on. Even when we was just talking about like 20, 50, 100 views, it was still very nice to see all the comments. So I was mainly just focusing on the start on computer vision, which is a very niche specific topic, but not a lot of videos was out there at that time and speci specifically, and also specifically in C++. So C++, OpenCV, computer vision was act like the niche that I started out with started to get some engagement, so it was very awesome. Then I basically just figured out, okay, I actually like learned a lot more from creating these videos. People are commenting, could also be LinkedIn posts and so on that I'm doing now. It doesn't have to be in a video format. It's just very important that you put your work out there. Stay ahead and also try to just make opportunities for you in the future. Could be that you're looking for internships, summer jobs, like just student relevant job as well. The job market is very hard right now like even graduates when they get out there it's so hard to get into a job especially like if you want to be out there in the whole world you can search for jobs in your local neighborhood and so on in your local area if you want to go to office and so on but if you're looking for international remote work and so on we really need to stand out so this is pretty much just like how my whole journey started i have a lot of tips and tricks and so on to share i'll probably share that in Future videos, this is like a way more casual video, just sitting back here in my car while charging, like just pulling up the camera, talking about different stuff and see, like, okay, how can I help you guys out in the situation that I was in? Because I was in the exact same situation as you guys just like three, five years ago. I started my YouTube channel four years ago and it has only been going in one direction. I have so many opportunities now. I don't even need a job. Like all those guys that rejected me probably didn't even look through my resume, CV, applications and all that like i wouldn't even work for those guys now because it's just low salary job it's not projects that i want to work on in my own local little town not a lot of opportunities like you can get out there get a full-time job when you graduate and so on but that's not even a possibility now we really need to stand out it's also way harder to grow if you just get into a company where you're doing the exact same thing every time, you're doing quality assurance, just working on the exact same project, you don't have the flexibility, freedom, and also managing different products, making sure that you actually like push your thoughts and also your vision into different projects and growing and also learning from that. So this is really important also because the job market is very hard now with all the new AI models, large language models and so on. Like when I'm coding now, I'm four times faster. I'm working with a lot of different clients. Like they're looking for integrating AI into the system so they don't have to scale their teams. Because when you want to scale your teams, you also need more layers and then you need more managing and so on. And then you're basically just becoming less efficient. So people that just try to stay the same size of the team and make the team more efficient, this is definitely the direction it's going. 
And you can see it yourself with all the AI models that is coming out, it's only going in one direction, it's only getting better, people are getting more productive and so on. So the job market is only going to be harder. We can cover more roles like AI engineer, they can now do software engineering, software engineers can now do AI engineering and so on, because we can just prompt the models, we just need to have the fundamentals under the hood. So it's so important to stay up to date, put your work out there and so on. Even if you get it rejected, the most important thing is just keep moving on. There's no successful people out there in the whole world who has never been rejected before. And if you ask most successful people, they act like say that they learned most from their rejections could also be a very motivational factor because what motivates us most, what gives us most dedication is act like could both be hate, some internal factor inside you. Could be that you want to help out your family, your mom, your sisters and so on. And basically just have some internal stuff. You have something inside you that is just burning. You want to accomplish something, you want to make money, you want to stand out there and act like just get to a level which is just impossible if you just get into like standard jobs, just try to climb the ladder and so on. There's way easier opportunities now with the internet, with all the social media and so on that we have. And you can also start to build your own products, solutions, digital products that you can sell out there pretty fast. Just imagine you can pull, you can actually pull together a software system with ChatGPT, Claude and all that. If you have coding experience, like most of you guys watching these videos here have coding experience, getting into it and so on. So you have the fundamentals, right? So you can actually start to build smaller software systems that is your digital product that can be sold multiple times and so on. You can do freelance working, put your work out there. It's so important that we get engagement, basically just get impressions, build our own personal network and so on. All these different aspects that I'm talking about in this video here, we actually like cover that inside my AI career program, where I basically just help people in the direction, like how to get into job positions. Could be that you want to go the freelance path as well. How do you get clients? How do you get started with all that and so on? Because again, it's not really just a get rich quick scheme. It takes time, it takes experience. We need to put your work out there. I worked a lot with a bunch of different guys. I also had the AI career program where I pull in guys and actually like help me out on a daily basis for project work, freelance work and so on. Where they help me out, like I'm just pulling the guys in there. It's a very good recruiting tool for me because I get to know people. I see how dedicated they are, how much time are they putting into it? What are their skill set and in which direction are they going? So it's pretty much just like free, very good filter recruiting tool for me personally. And once I act like get the guys into the project, I know that they know the process, they know how I work, they know me. So it's just way easier to get into the process. I've also worked with other guys doing freelance and so on. You can't just take a project, outsource to someone, you get it back and then you can deliver it to a client. It's a whole nother process. We need to get to the 8% system. We need to know how to report to clients, send updates and all that. So it's way more about the whole business aspect of it compared to just like solving individual tasks. Because if I want to take the whole project, boil it down to a few individual elements and I have to outsource that to individual freelancers, I actually spend more time delegating the work compared to just doing it myself with the AI tools. There's a whole process, a whole mindset that you need to have if you want to get into this world here, but also just the corporate world. You need to, t you need to think about yourself as a business person. You need to brand yourself, you need marketing, you need communication skills, you need all the technical skills and so on, and the chat GPT, not language models and so on, they can help you significantly out with that. So yeah, I really like this video here where it's just a bit more casual, not too much editing, clipping and so on, back and forth. It's just me talking to you guys, sharing my experiences, like how I started out, what direction am I going, what am I seeing in the job market, also the freelance project and so on, because I have a lot of contacts, I have a large network, especially in the computer vision space, but also just in machine learning and AI in general. So if you have any ideas about like what you want me to share to you guys, I have a ton of cool ideas. Just my whole experience, how I can help you out. Like I, I'm always just thinking about, okay, how can I help people out in the best possible way? Because not only does it help you, but it also helps me like getting good, getting good people to work with, building my community and also just I'm doing fine on my own end. I just want to help people as well and so on because that's also a very important factor. That's why I've been doing YouTube for four years as well. Putting out free resources, videos and so on just to help you guys, but also because I basically get most of my freelance projects directly from my YouTube videos. We need to have people search for our skill set and who we are. 
So if you have any ideas what I can talk about or any way that you think I can help you out, definitely let me know down in the comment section. I'll basically just set up a video, record it, talk to you guys in a one-to-one -one way. I just want to have this conversation back and forth. So definitely stay tuned for those upcoming videos. I really like this format here, which is a bit more casual and more connection between you and me because you guys are in this exact same situation as me or where I was a few years ago. It's always good to see what experiences, what could I do different now because your future is dependent on what you're doing today and also where you are today is all the different choices, all the different decisions that you have made the last three to five years. So it's really important that you focus on the decisions that you're making today because that's going to affect your future.